Hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining me as I share my thoughts on the film, The Bike Riders. Slow down. The Bike Riders has so much going for it. I mean, it has an incredible cast with Tom Hardy and Jody Comer and Michael Shannon and the always too pretty Austin Butler. And you know, when I was watching the trailer, I was kind of curious to see if Austin Butler was too pretty to be in a biker gang. But I think what they were trying to do was hone in the whole James Dean, Marlon Brando and give off that smoldering emo I'm a biker gang guy. You know, it, and it works. <laughs> but that's the whole thing. The, the The cast is absolutely amazing in this film. And what the film intentionally tries to do is to transport you into 1965 to 1972 uh, and immerse you into a biker club or biker gang, whatever you want to call it. And you can smell the stale beer coming off the screen. You know, you can... You feel it like you're in it, and that's what's so remarkable about this film. This is this, it's awesome when you watch something like that. That's awesome, but I think it wants to be more like a Goodfellas, but it ends up being more of a Days of Confused, and and that's not a bad thing. I like Days of Confused, but there's a whole bunch of meandering going on. But you're also trying to walk this fine line, right? You know, a biker gang's a family. It's you support each other. You're you're there for one another. Um, but they are also trying to be above the law. Wanted so much to humanize these people, um, and I think based on the the real book is that's what it was trying to do as well. They were the gangsters of the '60s biker gang thing that you know as you as history unfolds that biker gangs you know are I don't know what I'm saying I've never been a part of a biker gang when you get to a point where you're trying so hard to defend people like that you know that you either go all in that these people are this way or you you know you walk that balance that there's something uh, human about it and that's the one thing about some of these characters is that they were all in I just got to a point where I was just like bored with it I just, I've seen these characters before I predicted how it was all going to play out so nothing new or exciting about it you know you're hoping that the story would kind of unfold in a different way um, have more of an impact and for me it didn't this is what's so frustrating about a movie like this is that it has all the elements there it has everything going for it. And in fact, it had so much great buzz when it came out of Telluride in 2023. And then they pulled it off the, the distribution calendar and then put it back on. Um, I th it's going to find an audience. People are really going to like this film. And I think it's going to be completely up to who you are. But for me, it just, it just didn't connect. And... That's too bad. I mean, I don't regret not seeing this film. I think it's well made. It's, you know, everything you want. But, it, you know, at the very end of the day, when I slept on it, it just didn't resonate. And that's okay. So, with all that being said, I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to know what you have to say about this movie because I want to know if, if I'm missing something. If I... You know, if, if I share, if I'm the only person on this island um, with the bike riders. So share your thoughts. Thank you so much for spending time with me um, while I go on this film journey. And, you know, your voice is very important. And I just love to hear uh, what your thoughts are on the bike riders. I'm thinking of starting a riding club. Why? All those clubs do is sit around talking about motorcycles. That's what we do. <laughs>